everyone welcome back to GK today i am mujhe sana and in this video we'll cover the current affairs before we move ahead let me inform you that these questions are part of our daily 20 mcq series 2022 in the gk today's android application so if you are looking for the text version of these questions and their explanations along with the interactive quiz you may consider joining our daily 20 mcq series in the gk today android application in this course in app you get daily 20 mcqs a fortnightly quiz a monthly revision document and also category wise revision ebooks that are optimized for reading on mobile you are also able to access all archives of questions from january 2020 onwards and let me tell you one more thing if you want the hindi version of this session you can refer to our former channel named as gk today the link has been given in the description box from where you can reach to so without taking much of your time let's get started good morning everyone welcome back to gk today and today we'll be discussing most important mcqs for 12th of february 2022 starting with very first question which high court has constituted a three judge bench to hear petitions questioning a ban on the use of hijabs in the colleges so karnataka high court chief justice constituted a three judge bench including himself to hear a batch of petitions that questions a ban on the use of hijabs in a few pre university colleges in the state so a single judge bench of the court had decided to refer the pleas to a larger bench as it found the case involved larger constitutional issues and the decision came after two days of tension and protest across karnataka over the issue okay so correct answer is option number b now few days back we have already seen that education department of karnataka has recently issued an order under section 133 clause 2 of karnataka education act of 1983 which says a uniform style of clothes has to be worn in a compulsory manner while the private school administrations can choose a uniform of their choice okay now apart from it rajya utsav awards are the second highest civilian honor of karnataka and they are awarded on the occasion of establishment of the state celebrated as the kannada Raj Utsav Day. So the state has recently announced that it will skip the process of calling applications for these awards. Rather, the state will now set up a committee, and it will be tasked with finding the real achievers. Fine. Also, Karnataka state government has decided to give one percent reservation to the transgenders across all ranks in the police department, and this move by the state will help bring the transgenders into the mainstream. and remove the stereotypes against them in the society okay you have to tell me which country has recently banned the conversion therapy please answer me in the comments question number 2 what is the percentage of women representation of board seats in india in 2021 as per the women in the board room report so in india women representation of board seats increased by 9.4% from 2014 to 17.1% in 2021 but women comprise only 3.6% of the board chairs and it is down by 0.9% since the year 2018 so report finds that globally women hold 19.7% of the board seats which rose by 2.8% since 2018 and at the current pace the world could expect to reach near parity only in the year 2000 45 okay so correct answer is option number c the national commission of women has received almost 31000 complaints of crimes against women this year and it is a 30% increase from 2020 so half of the complaints were alone from the state uttar pradesh so the first reason that was major in these complaints were women's right to live with dignity and the right accounts for emotional abuse to women okay and second reason was domestic violence and third was dowry harassment so these were the top three reasons of women complaints and talking about uttar pradesh recently it has been awarded the first prize in the third national water awards 2020 in the best state category and then uttar pradesh was followed by later rajasthan and then tamil nadu fine now mukhya mantri kanya sumangla scheme is implemented by the state of uttar pradesh 
and the scheme provides conditional cash transfer of a sum of 15000 rupees to a girl child at different stages of her life also under Deen Dayal Antyoday Yojana National Rural Livelihood Mission self help groups receive the community investment fund and it was in news because recently prime minister narendra modi has transferred 1000 crore rupees to bank accounts of self help groups to benefit around 16 lakh people under the scheme and 4000 rupees will be provided as the first installment month's stipend in the account of 20000 business correspondent sakhis okay now question number 3 which country's central bank has launched five year plan for financial standardization so china's four government agencies including its central bank published a five year plan for financial standardization and the plan is to be implemented during the 2021 to 2025 period so china will strengthen its cross border yuan payments system and explore setting up infrastructure standards for a digital fiat currency as a part of plan okay now in the previous lecture we have seen that USA has approved a hundred million dollar support contract with Taiwan to boost Taiwan's missile defense system amid the tensions with China and this fund would be used to improve Taiwan's Patriot missile defense system as per the defense security cooperation agency okay so talking about China recently China has defeated the country South Korea to win AFC Women's Asia Cup India 2022 Finals and this is the record 9th AFC Women's Asia Cup title won by the China and this event was held in Navi Mumbai. So now China qualifies for the 2023 FIFA Women's World Cup that is to be held in Australia and New Zealand. Okay. Also Senegal has defeated the country Egypt in the Africa Cup of National Championship. And this event was held in Cameroon. And also we have seen that India has defeated the country England to win fifth title at under 19 World Cup 2022. Do remember that Yash Dhul becomes the fifth Indian captain to win the title after Mohammad Kaif, Virat Kohli, Unmukh Chand and Prithvi Shaw. Okay. Also India's Raj Angad Baba has been conferred the player of the match of ICC under 19 World Cup 2022. Okay. Question number four, which state or union territory has digitized the whole process of disbursement of pension? So Delhi government has digitized the whole process of disbursement of pension and the entire process from filling up the application form to disbursement of pension will now be online. And the social welfare department of the state has implemented the process successfully. Also, it announced that there will be no hindrance for delay in pension cases now. Okay. Now, apart from it, Desh K Mentor is a mentorship program under which the students of government schools of Delhi will be guided to make their career decisions. So, recently new measures have been added to the program by the Delhi government to ensure safety of the children. And the mentor will be deregistered if they receive any adverse report from the police. Also, all the phone conversations between the mentors and mentees will be recorded by the government. Okay. Also, Delhi government has laid a dedicated one-stop website for the promotion and adoption of electric vehicles. So, this website aims to help both the buyers and the sellers to adopt the EVs very easily. Okay. Now, do remember that Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi has stopped the global rating survey among the world leaders as the most popular leader and this survey was released by morning consult political intelligence okay do remember that at second place it was the president of mexico and third place was occupied by prime minister of italy okay do remember that urjit patel who served as the 24th governor of rbi recently he has been appointed as the vice president of Asian Infrastructure Investment Bank. Okay. Headquarter of this bank lies in Beijing, China. Also, Reserve Bank of India has recently included Airtel Payments Bank in the second schedule of RBI Act of 1934. 
and HDFC Bank, ICICI Bank and SBI are to remain as domestic systematically important bank that is DSIB. Okay. Question number five. What is the maturity period of the sovereign gold bond scheme? So sovereign gold bonds are the government securities denominated in grams of gold issued by the RBI on behalf of the government of India. So maturity period of the sovereign gold bond is eight years and the premature redemption is permitted after the fifth year from the date of issuance of such gold bonds on the interest payout date. Okay. The National Commission for Protection of Child Rights, that is NCPCR, has organized a national level meeting on identification, rescue and rehabilitation of children in the street situations with NGOs and United Nations agencies. So it developed a standard operating procedure 2.0 for care and protection of children in the street situations and also it devised Bal Swaraj portal children in street situations that is CISS okay and also NCPCR earlier developed the Bal Swaraj portal COVID care to track children who lost parent due to COVID-19 okay so you can be asked that Bal Swaraj portal is associated with which institution answer is National Commission for Protection of Child Rights now the European Commission which is the executive arm of European Union has announced European Chips Act that will enable 15 billion euros or you can say 17.11 billion dollars in additional public and private investment until 2030. So Euro Commission has already allocated 30 billion euros of public investment for chip production and this aims to avoid supply chain disruptions down the line and become less dependent on the foreign farms. Okay. Now what is ACT Accelerator? ACT stands for Access to COVID-19 Tools. It is a kind of multinational and multi-institutional initiative launched by G20. And it includes WHO, CEPI, Gavi, UNICEF, World Bank and other governments to raise financial support of research and development, production and equitable access to COVID-19 test therapies and its vaccines. So recently this council has called for fair share of financing that the richer countries should contribute to the act accelerators global response okay so you might be asked that which global block is associated with the act accelerator answer is g20 question number six as per a recent parliamentary committee report what is the proposed guaranteed number of days of work in mahatma gandhi national rural employment guarantee act so parliamentary committee has recommended increase and in guaranteed days of work from 100 to now 150 under this act and also they highlighted that the scheme is a last fallback option for many in the rural areas and the standing committee on rural development and panchayati raj headed by shiv sen member pratap rao jadhav tabled the report in lok sabha answer is 150 now apart from it ministry of earth Sciences system of air quality and weather forecasting research which is also known as SAFAR has recently announced that Mumbai has seen unusually high levels of pollution this week and its air quality index reached to near 300. So AQI between 301 and 400 is categorized as red or you can say very poor. Also Mizgaon which is the most polluted area in the city had AQI of 495 in the severe category and the current high pollution is due to a second dust storm in less than two weeks that has hit Mumbai okay so first of all do remember what does SAFAR stands for it is system of air quality and weather forecasting research and you can be asked that it is associated with which ministry answer is ministry of earth sciences now Mumbai Central Division of Western Railway has achieved a milestone of loading the 100th textile express from Surat area to Kharagpur Division. So the first textile express was started on 1st of September 2021 and the milestone has been achieved within a span of just 5 months. So Surat textile sector is prominent in the western part of India and textile express fetched revenue of over 10 crore rupees 
to the railways okay question number 7 which is the only indian documentary that has been nominated at 2022 oscar awards so indian documentary writing with fire which has been directed by the filmmakers rintu thomas and sushmit ghosh has been nominated at the 94th academy awards in the best documentary feature category so this is the only indian documentary to be nominated at this year's oscar awards and it focuses on the rural newspaper run by dalit woman and her transition from print to digital in the recent years okay now do you remember that kuzangal from india won the best film award in the asian film competition section at the 20th dhaka international film festival so it was directed by ps vinod raj from the state tamil nadu so do remember that india has won four awards out of 17 in this particular event okay then 56th jananpeet award has been given to asimi's poet neelmani funkan while the 57th jananpeet award has been presented to konkani writer damodar mazo apart from it do remember that sumit bhale has won the gold medal at the international folk art festival and shelin ford is the winner of mrs world 2022 which country she belong to she is from america okay you have to tell me who has recently won the award for the best national costume at the prestigious Mrs. World 2022, which was held in Las Vegas. Please answer me in the comments. Question number eight, which institution announced a new partnership under Samrit Initiative along with USAID? So Atal Innovation Mission, Niti Aayog and the US Agency for International Development that is USAID announced a new partnership under the Samrit Initiative. Samrit stands for Sustainable Access to Markets and Resources for Innovative Delivery of Healthcare. Okay. So this will promote the Samrit effort to reach sustainable healthcare models and innovative financing mechanism to improve the quality of spending in the health sector. Okay. So answer is Niti Aayog. Now talking about Niti Aayog, few days back it has released its fourth health index in which Kerala has been emerged as the top performer with respect to overall health performance among the larger states. On the other hand, UP was at the last place. Okay. So the top five states were first is Kerala, then Tamil Nadu, after that Telangana, then Andhra Pradesh and then Maharashtra. Well, the bottom three were Uttar Pradesh, Bihar and Madhya Pradesh. Fine. Then also government has released the Atal Ranking of Institutions on Innovation Achievement 2021 and the top position was achieved by IIT Madras and it topped the ranking as the most innovative educational institution in India in the technical category. Now do remember that according to World Anti-Doping Agency, India is now among top three of world's biggest doping violators. So bodybuilding, weightlifting and athletics have contributed majorly to India's embarrassing record. And worldwide, Russia has topped the list and then it was followed by Italy. At third place, it was India. At fourth, it was Brazil. And then at fifth, it was Iran. So these were the top five most violating countries. Okay. Question number nine, Malkan Giri, which topped the most improved aspirational district in agriculture and water resources sector is in which state? So Niti Aayog has announced the five most improved aspirational districts in the agriculture and water resources sector for December 2021 and Malkangiri in Odisha tops this list. Then it is followed by Chhatarpur in Madhya Pradesh and Baramulla in Jammu and Kashmir. So this is as per the Delta rankings published by the Niti Aayog. Okay. Now the country's first commercial scale biomass based Hydrogen plant is being developed up in the Khandwa district of Madhya Pradesh. And this plant will produce a ton of hydrogen per day from 30 tons of biomass feedback. So it will also produce biochar and methane as well. Okay. 
So you can be definitely asked that India's first commercial scale biomass based hydrogen plant is located in which Indian state answer is Madhya Pradesh. Then the Haryana cabinet has approved the draft of Haryana prevention of unlawful conversion of religious bill 2022. And now it will be tabled in the Vidhan Sabha. So it aims to prohibit religious conversions made through misrepresentations, force or by fraud means or by marriage by making it an offence. And the burden of proof lies on the accused and every individual converting from a religion to another will have to submit a declaration. Okay. Now coming to last question, which country has unraveled a $3.6 billion cryptocurrency theft linked to Bitfinex hack? So US Justice Department has announced the unraveling of the country's biggest ever cryptocurrency theft case and the officials have recovered $3.6 billion dollars which was linked to the hack of Bitfinex and it is a virtual currency exchange whose systems were breached by the hackers nearly six years ago. Okay, now apart from it, ISRO's first launch mission of 2022 is scheduled for 14th of February, PSLV C52, which is designed to orbit the Earth observation satellite 04. So the launch of polar satellite launch vehicle CF2 is scheduled from the first launch pad of Satish Dhawan Space Center, Sri Harikota. And EOS-04 is a radar imaging satellite that has been designed to provide high quality images under all weather conditions for agriculture, forestry, hydrology and flood mapping, etc. Okay. Now do remember that USA is also the first country to successfully conduct a human heart transplant from a genetically modified pig. And apart from all these things, Kochi city of Kerala become the first city in India to have a water metro project after it launched the battery powered electric boats and it aims to develop an integrated water transport system with 15 identified routes. Okay. Now let's start with today's quiz. Here on the slide you can see 5 questions which have been taken from the past 2-3 days current affairs. Pause the video and try to solve each of these questions. And at the end of the lecture, do not forget to share your scores in the comment section. So please be honest and do not cheat with yourself. So that's it for today. I hope you have liked the session. These were the important news and events from today. And we will meet again tomorrow with some more important current affairs. Till then stay tuned. Thank you so much for watching. And please do not forget to subscribe to GK Today. With this, Minuzat Sana signing off.